So it has been a few weeks since I uploaded a video. I thought it would be fun to get back into the groove of things by returning to a video series I like, Slime Ranger Mods. The one I picked for this video is the Glitch Ranger mod. This mod allows you to ring gold glitch slimes without them turning into bug reports. The mod also includes food that is specifically made for the glitch slime. Now, keep in mind, when installing this mod, it is unlikely that it is compatible with other mods. The only mod that I learned so far is compatible, ironically, is the Tar Ranger mode. My suggestion is removing any other mods from the mod folder and leaving the glitch ranger Dale, on its own. Otherwise, you might get the dreadful error box. Now with that disclaimer out of the way, let's check out the mod. Vale, I begin of course heading to Victor's workshop to only learn that I have stuff in my inventory. If you guys are wondering how I managed to get aged water without it expiring faster than guacamole, I used a cheating mod. After dumping my stuff, I finally got into the slime mutilation and before long I got a stack of glitch slimes with no problem. But it got me wondering if I jump off when I keep my stash of glitchy boys? Now, of course, I know the answer, but did it anyway. Whee! Oh, I guess not. What the? Yeah, somehow a glitch slime managed to stow away out of the slime you <laughs> It's a miracle! Molecule stable. I didn't think it was possible, but glitch slime. An independent life form. Not complaining. Made a grill and stored that little guy into its new home. If you're wondering why I did not put this slime in Victor's workshop, well, I did not complete the expansion and I'm too lazy to do so. Once my glitchy buddy is nicely settled, I headed back into the slime mutilation, not before changing its secret style skin, because the pink texture is easier for, for me to see. I explored the slime mutilation as normally, finding several glitch slimes and capturing some chickens? Not sure why. The difficult part is fighting the food for the glitch slimes. Without a clear reference to go by, I assume that packing one will be tricky. The food I meant. Until I got into the dryery portion of the slime mutilation to find a whole stack of them. Woohoo! And unfortunately, by the time I found them, the digitar was already spawning. Trying to reach the exit while getting hit was not easy. At one point, I did not have any glitch slimes in my inventory because of the amount of times I got hit by portals. Just portals! And yes, the portals that digitar spawn spawned from does cause damage. And now while Wanted to leave empty handed, I quickly grabbed a few glitches, dodged some baddies, and managed to exit the slime mutilation with another stowaway. Fat packing it, put the rest in their gorel, and fed them their favorite food. It wasn't long until I thought of the idea of growing the fruit. Thankfully, you can. While I was waiting for the uh, pug fruit to grow, I checked the glitch portfolio in the market, and it's pretty dang hype. What's even better is the plort texture. I like how the modder added this sparkle effect on not just the plort but also the fruit. Unfortunately, there is not a toy that comes with the mod for the glitch slime. Also, no slime will turn into a larko by consuming the glitch plort. Overall, I give this mod 10 bugs reports out of 1 digitar. This is a really cool mod that allows you to correlate glitch slimes. The only problem you may encounter is difficulty finding mods that are compatible with this one. You may have to go back and forth with different files. As long as I get to see my Charlie boy, I'm good. <laughs>